Here in State 48, water is always a big topic. And in the past, we've shown you where your water comes from. And now, meteorologist Lauren Rainson taking us inside one East Valley plant to show us how our water gets treated. If you live in Chandler, chances are your water comes here first before it comes out of your tap at home. I'll show you how the water gets treated at the Pecos plant. We're in Chandler. I'm with Danny Sargent. He's the water systems manager at the Pecos plant. Danny, once the water enters the treatment facility, it comes here first. What are we seeing? Uh, yeah, correct. So this is the first step in our process. This is the pre-sedimentation basin. So this is really the first uh, step for the water to really kind of slow down. We're letting gravity do the work. So we're letting all the solids, the sand, the silt settle to the bottom of this basin. Um, and from there, the sand and silt gets pumped out to a different part of the process. Right now, what you're seeing is about 16 million gallons a day in real time flow. So, And you're going to take us to the second phase in the water treatment process. Yes, yep, we'll be continuing on to the second phase in conventional sedimentation basins. We are here now at the conventional basins. So as it comes into the conventional basins, it's more of the gravity doing the work, kind of the same as the presets. So we're bringing the water in, we're slowing it down. Uh, we have our large uh, rake collector assemblies here. So as the water's coming in, slowing down, the sludge is settling to the bottom. Uh, these collectors are basically turning as the sludge is coming in and directing the sludge into the center where we basically pump it out to a different part of the process. Normally these collection basins are completely full. Why is this one empty today? Uh, this one's empty today because we've been doing some maintenance on it. Um, and also in the winter time we have much lower demands. And so in the winter time it gives us the ability to take some of these pieces of equipment out of service, get in there and do some maintenance. Can you show us one of the basins that's currently operating? Absolutely, yeah. Let's head down the walkway here. This rake collector is actually in operation, so it's churning, directing the sludge to the center. Uh, you can see the clean water flowing out the top here. This is the end of the conventional process. So this is the treated water uh, as it's heading to the next stage in the process. Danny, this is it. We are at the final stage of the water treatment process. What are we looking at? Yeah, so this is our finished water pump station. So here you can see three of our very large finished water pumps. Um, each one of these pumps can pump approximately 7,000 gallons a minute. As the water has moved through the entire treatment process, this is kind of the last stop. This is what allows us to pressurize the water and deliver it to Chandler residents. This plant feeds roughly 200,000 Chandler residents. It's facilities like this that make access to clean water more sustainable. In Chandler, I'm meteorologist Lauren Rainson for 12 News.